today what we're going to be doing we're going to make this fantastic fake away chicken tikka masala absolutely beautiful with cashew nuts so we've got these lovely chicken breasts which i'm going to dice and marinate in yogurt and i'm going to make a lovely sauce and i'm going to show you how to do it so what i tend to do is if we start off with a marinade you can just dice it nice big dices that together there, nice and large, like you get in the old Indian restaurant. And we've got our chicken now, it's very important you wash your hands. Okay, I'm going to add a good couple of spoons of yogurt. I'm going to add a little bit of my ginger mix, a little bit of chilli. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my spices. I've got a little bit of curry powder there, nice big red cumin. All my spices in there, a bit more yogurt. Then I'm going to give it a really nice mix. A bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You can add as much chilli. Remember there's the full recipe for this. So you haven't got to write everything down. So now that's nicely mixed up for our sauce. Pop this in the fridge for a couple of hours. So now for our sauce, start off with some butter. Put the butter into the pan, let that melt. And we're gonna start by what's known as tempering our spices. So we're gonna temper our spices in our butter. So I've diced my onions nice and fine and I'm gonna chop my tomatoes as well. Seeds and everything, just chop them up. Also what we're gonna do is we've got these cashew nuts. We're just gonna boil them in some water in a pan and then blend them to make a nice puree. Thicken in your curry sauce at the end. You can use ghee for this, which is like a clarified butter. I like the whole butter. Things are very nice. So now all my spices there, just gonna roast them off, release all the flavors. Now what we wanna do is add our onions. A little bit of seasoning, lower your heat, and you wanna cook them onions for a good 20 to 30 minutes to release all the sweetness from them. But just skin the tomatoes. Skin the tomatoes, very simple. You make a nice cross on the top like so, and then what I do is I boil my kettle for boiling water over your tomatoes. Let them sit for a minute or so and then you just pull the skins off. You don't have to take them off, I just like to because I think they skins you, they don't disintegrate. So you just literally pull the skin off like so. And there you have it. So now for our, uh, so we're gonna add our chili. I've put, diced up the coriander stem. We'll use the top of it later on. Just gonna put our chili, our ginger, and add that to our curry. What I tend to do is I just add a little bit of water. Just creates a bit of steam, helps it cook. So now our spices. We add our spices in there, which I've weighed up. Release the flavors, you can smell them coming through now. Then our tomatoes. Finally, we're just gonna put a little bit of chicken stock and we're gonna let that simmer 30 or 40 minutes. All you do is just add a little bit of water, just to let it steam down. Now we're gonna seal off our chicken. Leave all the yogurt in there, it's lovely. You want a fair bit of oil, nice hot pan. Should be enough flavor, you shouldn't need to season it. And what you wanna do is just leave it. Don't move it around so it gets a nice seasoning going to seed it off and then we're just going to finish the cooking in our lovely sauce. Get a nice seasoning on it, a little bit of colour onto the seal. Going to drop it on a plate so we can seal it all off. So now we're just going to finish our sauce. So I'm just going to put a stick blender in there. Now we just finish our curry. So we blended it down. Ain't got to be super smooth. Just a bit smooth there. Now we're gonna add our puree. So this is basically just cashew nuts, a little pinch of salt and water. You boil them for about 20 minutes and so then you blend them smooth. So all that's gonna do is just enrich your sauce. Sometimes they add cream or yogurt. I just think the nuts gives a lovely flavor, lovely richness to it. Once your sauce comes to a nice boil, we're gonna drop our chicken in, just poach it till it's cooked through. It takes about eight to 10 minutes. Just make sure it's cooked all the way through. As you can see, you've got a lovely color there. Chicken tikka masala. Drop our meat in and all the juices, obviously. Stir that in. I'm gonna finish, just finish our coriander. Just scissor it through like that. Just pop that straight in there at the end. Fold that into our curry sauce. Make sure our chicken's nice. Cooked through. Now 